welcome in today. This is Dr. Solomon Butler, and I have my Sound Doctrine TV show. Uh, I did have a special guest supposed to be here tonight, and that is the King of East St. Louis, Minister Iman Shepherd. Uh, he's working a job right now. So we're going to go ahead and uh, go into our lesson tonight on Sound Doctor TV show. And I'm your host, Dr. Solomon Butler. And uh, we are going to talk about tonight uh, Ephesians 4, 27 and 30. What I'm going to go over is Ephesians, the fourth chapter, 27 and the 30th verse. It says in 27, neither give place to the devil. The devil ain't got no business coming over your toenail because if you allow him to take over, his mission is St. John 10.10. 10. He came to kill, steal, and to destroy you. That is his job description, kill, steal, and destroy. So Ephesians 4.27, it simply says, neither give place to the devil. He ain't got no business in your car, playing the radio, vocal music, uh, with profanity. Don't give him no place. Uh, so you got to use your wisdom. If you're saved, be saved. We just call it straight. We don't play games. If you save, little save life because you could be offending your sister or brother by living two lives. And uh, if you save, you save. If you're not, uh, we will know by your fruits. So don't give him no place in your home, on your job. Uh, in your family, don't give the devil no place. Don't allow him to come in. You've got to put your foot down and take a stand for the Lord. 28. Let him that stole steal no more. Okay, you stole, you ask God to forgive you. Don't do that anymore because, you know, God can be our defense attorney. Jesus can be our defense attorney. And he can get you out of that. You remember the woman. Uh, they were getting ready to stone her in John 8. And uh, <clears throat> John 8 and 7. And he said, he without sin. Cast the first stone. Jesus, our defense attorney. Cast the first. If you without sin, cast the first stone. So everybody out there, drop their rocks. So he said, let them to steal, steal no more. I'm going to get you off this time. And God can't keep doing that, you, you're going to end up in jail. So he don't want to steal it. But rather let him labor. Now let me stop right there. I have several businesses that I own. Okay? And I don't ask nobody for nothing. I get out and hustle or work. Uh, First Thessalonians 3.10 says, if a man don't work, he should not eat. So I have a problem with you ladies feeding these men that don't want to work while he drives your car while you at work. Go see his other little lady friend sitting at home drinking and playing the Nintendo. He don't have a job and his pants is hanging. King's pants don't hang. We are kings. We are men of God that have standards and we stand for something. I'm a, I'm a Muhammad Ali person. I'm a, I'm a Dr. Martin Luther King mentor. Uh, my father, Dr. Hugo Butler, uh, been out here at this church here for 70 years. Stand for something. A person that don't stand for something uh, will fall for anything. So you gotta have, you gotta wanna work. You gotta wanna work. Uh, so man don't work. He should not eat. But rather let him labor, let him work. Uh, working with his hands, uh, the things which is good. That means he's not doing something illegal. You understand? On the side, where you gotta go to jail. You know what I mean? I gotta go to jail. I don't wanna do it. You know, I want I want an honest day's work, and the Lord will honor you for working. Uh, that he may have to give to him that is in need. If I got several businesses and I got plenty of money, I have no problem. 
will be a blessing to someone, but I'm being led by my giving because you have to use your wisdom. Uh, I don't want to give something to someone and go and overdose and, you know, I'm, so I'm, I'm going to be led by the Holy Spirit and using my wisdom in giving. And then when I do give, uh, Matthew 6 and 3 says, uh, don't let your left hand mm -hmm, know what your right hand is doing. I'm going to do it in private. I'm not going to do it in the public because somebody see you giving somebody say, well, you didn't give me nothing. Well, God's trying to protect you. And uh, Matthew 6 and 3 says, don't let your left hand know what your right hand is doing when you do a charitable deed. Uh, 29. Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth. Every word, every vain word that we use is going to be recorded in heaven. The day we stand before God, the screen will show the day and time that you cussed, that you cursed, that you used for fame. This is why I try to tell people stay away from profanity. Because now you can ask God right now, Mark 11 25, to forgive you for using the profanity and being it in your heart and it's erased. And he gives you a fresh start. He is a forgiving God. So I'm teaching you tonight not to be using Mother for Honda, son of a Beatrice, kiss my ass tray. Yeah, you full of shit. Okay, I'm using those terms, but y'all know what I'm talking about. You cannot use and have verbal, vulgar language coming out of your mouth. Colossians 3 and 8. Put off anger, filthy communication coming out of your mouth. It's a sin to be using profanity. That's why when you go to different places, they say no profanity. Why? Because that's disrespect. That's a Satan to disrespect. And I'm not going to let no one disrespect my Holy Ghost inside of me by you using profanity. My mom or my dad standing there and you going off with profanity. No, you're going to respect them. Respect goes a long way. This is sound doctrine. You have to take a stand. Hey, 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 cut that cussing out, man. We respectful people around here, you know. You have to take a stand for the Lord. So don't let no 29, uh, Ephesians 4, 29, let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth. But that which is good to the using of edify, you know, we speak words of wisdom and then we break it down and we adapt to teach the word of God so people can understand what God is saying and we edify the body of Christ by teaching and sharing and using parables so people can have an understanding. Proverbs 4, 7 says that all thy getting Get an understanding. Whatever you do, make sure you have an understanding. You go on into real estate, make sure somebody that works real estate uh, would coach you through. You know, all thy getting, get an understanding. Acknowledge the Lord, Proverbs 3 5. Acknowledge the Lord in all thy ways, and he shall direct your path. You know, get, get, get a second opinion. Look at something. Just don't jump out there and uh, mess yourself up unless you've got some guidance. Uh, but 29, but they which is good to the user of edifying that it may minister grace unto the hearers. You, you, you're speaking wisdom, you're speaking love, you're speaking knowledge and grace to the hearers. You, you're healing that person that is broken. Jesus said in uh, St. Luke 4, uh, I came, 18, I came to heal the brokenhearted, okay? Uh, heal the sight of the blind. He, he came to help us. He came to ease our helper. Uh, Romans 8, 26, the Holy Spirit is our helper. He's our guide. He's our lead. Uh, Bible, basic instructions before leaving earth. You understand what I'm saying? It's just to protect us, you understand, from what's... Satan tries to come into our life. Okay? And then 30, it says, And grieve not the Holy Spirit of God. 
don't grieve the spirit. We in worship, we get getting our praise on, and somebody, well, let's just stop. No, 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 that's the spirit. Somebody can be getting delivered from worship and praise. You can praise your way out. You can worship the Lord, and somebody can get delivered just in worship. So we don't want to grieve the Holy Spirit and quench the Holy Spirit and stop the Spirit of God when it's moving and folks are being delivered and set free. And I say this because this is a sound doctrine show. Jesus is going to say to those that did not get it right for grieving the Holy Spirit. Here we are, people getting delivered. You stop in the session. But Jesus is going to say to some of the people, Depart with Mark, uh, Matthew 25, 41. Read it, Matthew 25, 41. Depart from me. I know you not. I do not want Jesus to say that to me, but I want him to tell me, well done, thy good and faithful service enter into heaven. There is a heaven and there is a hell. Stop playing games. Jehovah Witness, stop playing games. Don't do that. Don't do that. Jesus even said, uh, Revelation 20 and 10, the devil that deceived him was cast into the lake of fire with the fake reverend. All these reverends is playing games. That's okay, it's okay. You pay me now, pay me now. Revelations 20:10. The devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire with the beast, the false reverend, and the devil. They were all thrown into the lake of fire. So my point is, let's stop this. Revelation 20, 15. And whosoever did not receive Jesus was cast into the lake of fire. This is sound doctrine. This is the truth. The Bible says in St. John 8, 32, you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. Romans 10, 9. Give your heart, your mind, your soul to the Lord that thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in thy heart that God raised Jesus from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Get in a Holy Ghost filled church where the power of God is moving by his spirit and an anointed leader. Just don't go to a church. I don't tell people that find a church where the spirit of God is moving. These people live what they talk about. Yes, we have our struggles, but the Lord helps us through. I told you Romans 8 and 26. You understand? Uh, the Holy Spirit will step in and help us with our infirmity. Grieve not the Holy Spirit of God, whereby ye are sealed until the day of redemption. God will preserve us until the time that he returns. And I'm telling you, you cannot live in sin. Sin separates God from man. A man from God. I, I hate sin. God hates sin. Second Chronicles 7 and 14. There are four steps of having a successful Christianity or successful holy life. Four steps. If my people, which are called by my name. First of all, you gotta humble yourself. Then you gotta begin to pray. Then you got to seek his face. That's three. Seeking his face is reading the word of God. Dead. By daily bread. And then the last one he wants you to do. The fourth thing he wants you to do is turn from your wrong doing. Whatever you in is causing you to go down. Got a hold to you. You need to let it go because God is giving you another chance. Repent and ask God to deliver you uh, from whatever you're struggling with, let me give you the keys of whooping the devil and how he will leave you alone. Mark 9, 29. Whatever you want to overcome something, it comes by fasting and praying. It causes the, it stops the devil in his tracks. Fasting and praying have brought me out of a lot of stuff while I was going into sin, but because of Revelation 3.10, the Lord allowed a door open so I can escape because I kept his word in my heart. Read Proverbs 7 about keeping the word of God all around you to protect you from the guy that came to kill, steal, and to destroy you. Satan's job. He knows he's going to be thrown in hell. This is why all of this stuff is going on on the earth right now. They're killing this stuff. 
He came to kill, steal, and to destroy. Satan is behind him. So we're going to have to put on the whole armor of God, the helmet, the breastplate, the shoes of readiness, and stay prayed up so we can fight the good fight of faith. God will step in. But we are going to have to live it by the power of the Holy Ghost. Again, this is the sound doctrine. You can reach me. Uh, we have anointed fellowship. Uh, the next time my producer, Mr. Duncan, uh, we're going to go uh, where the homeless is. Every 16th, I'm just about through, every 16th of the month, okay, 16th, 17th of the month, we ask for you to call us at 618-410-3966. You reach me, Dr. Butler. If you know someone in need, that needs food, that needs clothing, please call us. We'll contact the people. And we'll take them food. We'll take them clothing. I was hungry. You fed me. I was naked. I am a bishop. And that's what we do. We feed the hungry, clothe the naked. And all the churches that collaborate with me, that's what we do every 16th of the month. We feed the hungry, we clothe the naked, we visit the hospitals. Doesn't matter if you're not, you know, if you're in this local area and you want me to see someone, I have no problem. If you call me, I come pray with the family. That's what ministry is all about. Uh, so I, I want you to know I am the founder of Anointed Fellowship where we feed the hungry, clothe the naked visit the prisons, visit the hospitals, and we do what God called us to do. I'm a different type of bishop. I do what the Lord told me to do according to the word. I'm not trying to keep up with the bitch time people. That doesn't interest me. I want my name written in the Lamb Book of Life, which it is, and do what God called me to do. In anointed fellowship, I don't need no money. Let me, let me get a little closer. I don't need no money. If you want to get clothing, if you want to get food, that's fine. We, we stand away from the, the love of money is the root of all evil. I'm trying to stay away from that. This is why I have a job I, and this is why I have businesses on the side and I work. So I don't want that to interfere with us helping people get clothes and food for anointed fellowship. Okay? I'm also a recording artist. I have a CD out. Uh, wrote a song God's got it. I'll do that on the next show make sure because we sold out of copies and uh, we're trying to stay busy. I am the pastor here at the Union Full Gospel Baptist Church 2402 Tudor Avenue, East St. Louis, Illinois, where yours truly, Dr. Solomon Butler is the pastor. My father been here 70 years. His name is Bishop Dr. Hubert Butler. is the pastor emeritus. He's here with us. He's 92 years old. So we're doing the work of the Lord, and those of you who want to send donations or love or whatever you want to send, that's fine. But now with anointed fellowship, you don't have to do no monitor. We just want food and clothing so we can take it to the people. But now if you want to send love to Union, make it out to Union Full Gospel Baptist Church, 2402 Tudor Avenue, East St. Louis, Illinois, 62203, where we're doing the work of the Lord. And uh, so, so as we say, I'm also the founder of Positive Youth Turnaround. Uh, Reverend Iman Shepherd, he's 16, he's an ordained minister, licensed. He did his first wedding here. I trained him, and uh, we take children off the street and turn their life around. I'm so proud of the young man. <clears throat> Sorry, he couldn't make it tonight because he's working. He has two or three jobs, and he's the founder of Keep the Peace in three cities. So, he's really a busy young man. But again, this has been Dr. Solomon Butler. You can reach me at 618-410-3966. Jesus Christ is waiting on you. Romans 10 and 9. God bless you. And thank you for watching Sound Doctrine Television Show.